can start, right? Good afternoon, dear colleagues and guests. Let me declare open a session of the Dissertation Council for the Defense of Physics by Andriy Vavrandriyevna for the degree of Candidate of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, uh, specialization 010303, solar physics on the theme, modeling the Earth's uh, magnetosphere using radial basis functions. According to the order, St. Petersburg University of the 27th of February, number 1349 slash 1, me, Sergei Viktor Andreevich, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, Professor of Earth Physics Department of St. Petersburg University, was appointed Chairman of this Dissertation Council. In accordance with the order of St. Petersburg University on the 23rd of March, 2304-1, our meeting is held in the remote access mode, which includes my colleagues, members of the Council, and the applicant. Uh, let me introduce the, my, the Council members. Zoltan Nadezhda Valerievna, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, Associate Professor of the Earth Physics Department at St. University. Can you see and hear us, Nadezhda Valerievna? Yes, I can hear you. Trojan Vladimir Nikolaevich. Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, Professor of the Earth Physics Department of St. Petersburg University. Vladimir Nikolaevich, can you see and hear us? Well, yes. Salaviov Alexander Anatolovich, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, Professor, Head of the Sun Physics Laboratory of the Main Astronomical Observatory of Russian Academy of Sciences. Uh, Alexander Anatolovich, everything is okay. Yes, I can see and hear you. Troshichev, Oleg Alexandrovich, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, Professor, Chief Researcher of the Arctic and Antarctic Research Institute. Can you see and hear us, Oleg Alexandrovich? Yes, I can see and hear you. Everything is well. And finally, Usmanov Arkady Vladimirovich, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, Research Fellow, University of Delaware and Goddard Space Flight Center. United States of America. Can you see and hear us, uh, Arkady Vladimirovich? Yeah, well, I didn't hear you. Okay, okay. And the um, principal uh, person today, uh, Andreeva Varvara Andreevna, can you see and hear us? Yes, I can, excellent. Also, in touch with us is the academic advisor of the applicant, Tiganin Kanekalarinsevich, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, Associate Professor of the Earth Physical Department of the Petersburg State University. Can you see and hear us, Nikolaevich? Well, that's good. The academic advisor shall be given the floor after the applicant's presentation and reviews by the dissertation council. And in the meantime, I'm kindly asking him to mute the incoming sound and camera. So, all the members of the Dissertation Council, as well as the applicant, are present, and we can all see and hear each other. Dear colleagues, since our meeting is held in the remote access mode, in accordance with the University Order of the 23rd of March, I invite all the participants to follow the procedure closely, in case there's a technical failure and you stop seeing or hearing someone, please immediately let me know. I will call it technical break until such issues are eliminated. If, please keep in mind, if the, we all have to stay visible. If you have to leave, uh, please inform me and I shall call it technical break for that period. And if the connection with me is lost, uh, the announcement shall be made by Zolotov and Nadezhda Valerivna. Nadezhda Valerivna, do you agree? Yes. Thank you. Dear council members, do you agree? Then let us continue. Let me also inform you that our meeting is being recorded and broadcast online at the university website. And the speeches are being simultaneously translated from Russian into English or from English into Russian. Uh, I don't think we shall need that, so. 
The applicant's page currently displays an email address to which anyone can send questions to the applicant. Online regarding her thesis, her ongoing uh, scientific discussion, uh, the questions shall be forwarded to me and I shall read them out during the discussion part. The questions should be related strictly to the applicant's presentation and the content of her thesis and must include the name, position and uh, place of work of the author of the question. Questions that are not related to the scientific discussion or to the discussion of the thesis, to the text or evaluation of the thesis shall not be presented. <clears throat> Next, according to the federal law of the 23rd of August 1996 on science and the state scientific and technical policies in Petersburg University has been granted the right to award academic degrees independently. A corresponding order on the or procedure for awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg University, on the basis of which we are holding this session of the Council, was issued on the 1st of September 2016, number 6821-1. Here and after, uh, shall refer to it as the procedure or the order uh, which regulates our work. In accordance with this order, a session of the Dissertation Council is duly constituted if at least two-thirds of the approved members of the Council are participating, but not less than four persons. Our Council consists of six members. Now all six are present in the remote interactive mode. The audiovisual contact has been established, all of them, and the degree applicant. We checked that. Thus, we have the quorum. Uh, I instruct the curator of the Defense, Karpova Natalia Vladimirna, officer of the Dissertation Council's Activity Support Department, to draw up the attendance list and to list the Dissertation Council members present and indicate their work mode, uh, remote access mode. Let me set forth the following procedure for today's session with the approximate duration of, seven, uh, of, of two hours. A chairman's summary report on the main content of documents submitted by the applicant in their compliance with the regulations and answers to possible questions up to five minutes. A brief presentation by the degree applicant outlining the key points of her study, approximately 15 minutes. Questions to the applicant strictly on her report, no more than two minutes per each question. Answers of the applicant, maximum five minutes for all the questions. Speeches of all members of the Dissertation Council in turn with their reviews and statements of their opinions, questions and suggestions to the degree applicant. No more than 10 minutes for each speaker. Next, the speech of the chairman and his review, also 10 minutes. Next, answers of the applicant to questions and comments made by members of the Dissertation Council, no more than 15 minutes. That shall be followed by the open discussion. Speeches and questions to the applicant, strictly on the topic of your research, no more than five minutes per question. And here we shall also read out questions sent by email, if any. Final answers of the applicant to questions asked, no more than five minutes, and speech of the academic advisor of the applicant, no more than three minutes, uh, discussion by members of the dissertation council before they open uh, voting. Uh, during the time of this discussion, if we need it, the sound of, sound of broadcasting and recording shall be switched off. Next, open individual voting uh, and the votes shall be counted by the chairman of the decision council and the results will be recorded in the minutes of the meeting. Next, we shall make a decision on awarding or awarding the academic degree and give the floor to the uh, degree applicant for her closing remarks. Here's our procedure. Dear colleagues, do you have questions or objections to this? No. No. Very well. If there are no objections, let's 
start the procedure, but please remember to switch off your mobile phones. Thank you for your understanding. And I have another request. If you, uh, when not speaking, please keep your microphones switched off. Uh, uh, there's no background noise. So let me start with our first item in the chairman's summary report. I beg your pardon, Viktor Andreevich. I have a question for uh, Nik uh, Nikola Alexeyevich. Let's switch off the camera. Okay, thank you. This is the procedure. Uh, chairman's summary report. The thesis Bandriva Varandeina for the degree of candidate of physical and mathematical sciences specialization 010303 solar physics on the theme modeling the Earth's magnetosphere using radial basic functions uh, was accepted for defense by the order of the academic secretary of the Petersburg University on the 25th of February 2020. The dissertation council was appointed by the order of the academic secretary of the Petersburg University on the 27th of February the same year. Uh, 1349 slash 1. Dehaler introduces members to you, dear colleagues and guests. Andreva, Barbara Andreina, wrote her thesis at St. Petersburg University. The academic advisor, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical, Associate Professor of those Physics Departments, St. Petersburg, Tsiganenko, Nikolai Alexeyevich. The number of publications of the applicant, which set out the main scientific results of the thesis, according to the list presented, is four, including publications in journals indexed in the Scientometric Databases Web of Science and Scopus, four publications, and in other peer reviewed scientific journals from the list approved by the Ministry of Education and Science of the Russian Federation. No publication. The applicant submitted to the Academic Secretary of St. Petersburg University, a full package of documents for, uh, to accept the thesis for consideration and defense of the documents comply with Article 12, Section 3 of the order. All the documents submitted by the applicant, according to the information I received from the curator, comply with the requirements that are kept in the applicant's attestation file. Copies are available from the Office of the Dissertation Council Support Department, Curator of today's meeting, Karpova Natalia Vladimirovna, who's currently in touch with us. Before giving the floor to the applicant, do you, dissertation council members, have any general questions to the applicant and whether it's necessary to disclose and review the entire list of documents submitted by the applicant for defense? There are no questions, right? No, we have no questions. That's good. Then let's give the floor to the applicant. Varvara Andreevna, the floor is yours. Please start your presentation. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Andreeva Varvara, and the theme of my thesis is modeling. Uh, theme modeling the Earth's magnetosphere using radial uh, basis functions. And I'm going to talk about modeling magnetic field in the first decades of space research, the so called modular approach to empirical modeling became widespread. The volumetric currents associated with extreme magnetospheric field were divided in a relatively small number of individual current systems modules, the geometry of which was assumed based on the existing knowledge. These assumptions made it possible. Uh, the disadvantage of this approach is that any a priori assumptions about geometry significantly limit the ability to extract new information from satellite measurements. In recent decades, amount of accumulated data and their special coverage have increased significantly, which raised the question of removing uh, a priori assumptions about the geometry of cur current systems and development method empirical modeling free of a priori assumptions. Therefore, the purpose of my thesis was to develop a method for building an empirical model free 
of any assumptions about the geometry of electric currents and to applying it to global and local recovery of magnetospheric magnetic field. To achieve this, we uh, I had to solve the following problems. I had to propose a mathematical method for uh, representing the magnetic field for any assumptions. And uh, next, uh, it was necessary to develop a variant of the global model to develop a, a variant of local modeling for local restoration and to compare results obtained with the existing models. Let's move to the method. Our approach is based on the assumption that any non divergent field can be uh, broken into some of toroidal and poloidal components, where the choice of scalar functions is uh, not uh, is, 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 is a divergent in construction. We suggested presenting functions as linear decompositions, the radial base functions, as a uh, scalar functions at the same time, depending only on the distance from the point of observation to uh, basis centers uh, distributed around the observation area. Uh, let's proceed to global modeling described in chapter three and method application. By global modeling, we understand internal halogen magnetosphere within the limits of uh, because building a model of the entire magnetosphere is quite a difficult task, mainly because of the need for too many. Uh, the model was created in the solar, uh, based on the field symmetry, located on spherical layers, each of the R. So the distance between is uh, uh, almost the same. Curie has work. And the distance from the to correspond to the center in the, and the radial basis functions were this uh, root square functions. Uh, here's a regulatory parameter as a Maria. In our work, we used coordinates and measurements as a and this is true and uh, Omni the database uh, first principal task is to, uh, not to create a, a, but to demonstrate that the method of this configuration which corresponds so uh, we uh, divided uh, data in four sub samples subsets and the average uh, value is, is these two parameters can be is, um, uh, magnetic storms which we model and in uh, is a storm state and uh, quiet term condition in the next slide you may see our main results this shows distribution of scalar anomaly in the uh, uh, equator projection and meridional pre longitude. Uh, the storm is forming uh, from quiet time conditions. The quiet time conditions are characterized by external field and symmetrical configuration. And on the opposite, the main phase of the storm, uh, we may see uh, a clear field depression. There's a tail currents, which is symmetrical and also configuration for different is characterized by uh, polar cusps and the, uh, I'd like to say that in this is uh, the is uh, underestimated. In addition, you may see 
uh, how the tail currents in this uh, tail currents are getting becoming stronger at the restoration pace external field is decreasing and it becomes symmetrical once again and next question which arises is how the distribution electrical currents corresponds to configuration here we didn't make any assumptions about currents this, uh, this, um, in this slide, we see the projections, density, uh, current density, and uh, in this distributions, uh, we, as the storm is formed, it becomes asymmetrical. And in addition, you may see closer to the ground and also here in the main phase of the storm uh, the main phase at the meridional uh, projection our model that was could be used uh, was uh, able to represent all the known current systems as uh, as a western ring current uh, conversed into tail current. Here we see magnetic currents and cusps, the main phases of the storm, and the effects uh, of field aligned currents. To sum up this chapter. We suggested a new method, the atmospheric field, uh, which can be used to recreate all the major current systems, though uh, the model had no limitations on geometry. This is a, a, a underestimated in the existing models. And in addition to that, this study became a basis for another approach to modeling, so-called hybrid modeling, uh, which is uh, tradition in, uh, includes both traditional and modern approaches. Now let's proceed to uh, local modeling. Uh, as the field that shall be, we shall demonstrate the sphere of application for local modeling as go stationary orbit and its vicinity. In this part of the uh, radial function, we, se we selected a multi uh, square function, uh, functions, but uh, degree functions, because experiments showed that uh, more even distribution of magnetic field. Uh, the scheme of distribution of centers is shown in figure one. The model is a solar magnetic system of co coordinate system of uh, four L uh, co shells and this shows cross section of the midnight meridian. And so we Finish. We uh, extended the configuration to whole space to as equally distant planes. The modal coefficients are uh, we are optimized as measurements of magnetic field. And the data was limited the same space five five and eight point eight and here in order to set limitations for elevation as solar wind, we selected only individual isolated magnetic storms for which the minimal uh, value was minus 150. And uh, 2010, 2014 were excluded from this subset to test the model later. <coughs> for the uh, modal parameters, Model coefficients were presented uh, uh, as follows. We assume there are two mechanisms of response in the change of solar wind. 
The first is connected with variations of uh, dynamic pressure, which results in relatively quick compression, expansion of the magnetic sphere, and this effect uh, we took into account. And the second variant is connected with slower processes, such as cluster convection, magnetic uh, conjunction, and uh, to include these processes, so we used the so-called dynamic var variables. Uh, dynamic variable uh, is based on the assumption as the current system at each period of time changes as a result as, or uh, of this, uh, increase in energy from solar wind and processes of internal dissipation. Uh, the, uh, so, since the beginning, we believe that the magnetic field in each point is. So, in reality, we two sources of the field, twenty hours. So we can discuss later where that came from. The function reflecting increase in energy. We used Boyton index and uh, the Boyton function. And since the same value can correspond to different phases of the storm, we included uh, derivatives by time from dynamic variables. Let's proceed to the results. These slides have show two dimensional histograms comparing of observed components um, by uh, x is x with components by so, uh, as you may see the cloud is quite uh, ex extended along uh, no, these are very high values for empirical models and the uh, square uh, error is about 10 percent in addition was interesting to calculate the same values for independent data for that purpose we used measurements for 2010 2014 not including the last sample here we didn't select individual events so uh, we just used all data with index of, of 150. We calculated the uh, root square mean uh, error and the prediction capacity of the model. In addition, all the same characteristics were calculated for modular model uh, TS05 because this was one of the first modular models uh, especially for magnetic field description and magnetic storms. This also uh, includes um, dynamic variables. We compared um, models uh, separate for each, to each uh, subset. As you can see, for 2010, model characteristics can be compared except for the Relation, the re relation is rel is significant is much lower, uh, is because it includes additional uh, components in the model, which enable to recreate the effect of penetration of the agric into closed power lines, uh, modular models, and for two thousand fourteen. Uh, the characteristics of RBF model are better than for TS05 model. Since the main results of the, this chapter, uh, let's proceed to provisions put out for defense. A new uh, mathematical method uh, can be used uh, is, uh, is of, uh, geom geometry. As a global model of a uh, closed magnetic sphere uh, so, uh, reverses all the uh, where all the known large scale characteristics. And this, the method proposed was, became the basis of the new hybrid method of modeling, 
uh, which includes RBF and modular approaches, uh, which uh, it can, uh, it helps to overcome drawbacks of both approaches. On the basis of our method, a local model, magnetic uh, field in the uh, close distance or orbit, uh, which takes into account uh, pre, uh, the history of parameter, solar wind parameters. Testing of independent data proved that a new model compared with uh, preceding models uh, better re recreates a field on geostationary orbit and models based on the new approach uh, can uh, represent polar cusps and penetration of uh, components. So these two effects cannot be recreated, uh, recreated with the help of the other models. Thank you for your attention. The results uh, were published in four articles. In addition, uh, I published a number of other articles on empirical modeling. And the main results of my work have uh, been presented at Russian and international conferences. <clears throat> so if you don't mind, I shall close my presentation now, if you have no objections. Uh, thank you. Next, uh, we have time for questions to the uh, degree applicant and her presentation. Do the council have members have questions? If we have no, if no one has any questions, um, let me ask one question. One of the questions is in chapter four, where you model the uh, field close to geostationary orbit. Uh, so this chapter has some practical significance. Here's my question. All the major magnetic field models were used uh, on US uh, satellites. This, uh, US satellites, this, uh, which uh, have been working for uh, many years, and uh, a lot of information. So you uh, used data from other satellites uh, which pass this orbit, and they pass it only occasionally. Uh, what uh, are the reasons why you didn't use the GOES uh, data uh, when in your mod modeling? Uh, two reasons when testing. We used data because we conducted compare we compared models for separate mo uh, events. Uh, you may see I have them in some graphs. So why we didn't use the data when uh, calculating modeling coefficients? Uh, satellites. These satellites are not scientific satellites. Uh, the resolution is uh, not as precise, and uh, they so there are systematical errors. Uh, in 2015, we have two mag magnetometers, and uh, the difference can be several nanotesla. So we decided that. Uh, our data is more precise and pure, and it will be good to create a model. In addition, uh, satellites uh, do not cover the vicinity of the, the geostationary orbit, but they do not cover the surrounding area and here we uh, looked at the height uh, to project something from the geostationary orbit uh, okay thank you uh, do we have more questions yes i have a question welcome nadezhda valerievna uh, uh, can you please Show the slide where you show paloidal and telluroidal. 
could you please go back to your presentation? Here, you say uh, that you have expansions by two different poloidal and toroidal functions. And below the function, so why do you need this distinction between poloidal and toroidal functions, if the functions are the same? Uh, is the question clear? Did you hear the question? Can you hear me? Yes, the question is clear. Look, uh, this happened because there can be several answers. The first answer is that the magnetic field is a vector which can be uh, defined with three scalar components or the potential vector. And then we need three scalar, scalar components but here is just a way to describe the magnetic field with three scalar functions, uh, which allows us to save some coefficients because we cannot uh, describe three uh, expansions, the three components. Here, so this is just uh, a way uh, without the scalar function. Okay, Nadezhda Valerina, are you satisfied? Uh, do we have more questions? Okay. Now we shall hear the reviews of the members of the dissertation council, their opinions, questions and suggestions to the degree applicant. And I suggest that the applicant should answer questions after each review, uh, but that will be easier for the applicant. She will not have to remember all the reviews. We uh, don't have any external reviews. That is why uh, let us hear the this council member reviews. Since all the reviews have been published at the university website. Uh, so maybe at least the detailed ones by, uh, so maybe that part uh, can be omitted. And please focus on the key points, uh, comments and suggestions, questions. Uh, do we have any objections here? No, no, no. Oh, very well. Then uh, let's proceed to let's hear the reviews. Zoltov and the, the review by Zoltov and Nadezhda Valerivna. Welcome, Nadezhda Valerivna. Uh, thank you. I will try to uh, give an informal overview. So maybe I will not be very coherent, but hopefully you can. Uh, I feel that a model describes current systems of magnetic sphere. I think here it makes sense to compare with expansion by discrete, fun discrete functions. And we want to know its main characteristics. We use some basis functions for such signal. So here, the task is similar, but much more complicated. It's uh, the two, three-dimensional dynamic system with the help of which we, the technology and geometry shall be reproduced. I think uh, Varvara managed to do that. She used several dozens and for its verification, the only drawback that I 
found, though I'm not an expert on this, is that in the text, not always after formula, the parameters are described that are used in this formula, but they can be deduced quite easily. So it was easy for me. So if I have to give, say, the formal, make that formal statement, I think that the thesis by Varvara Andreeva uh, on the theme, a model in the Earth's magnetic sphere using radial basis functions corresponds to the main requirements set by the order on awarding academic degrees in St. Petersburg University. And the degree applicant, Andreeva Varvara Andreevna, deserves being awarded the degree of candidate of physical and mathematical sciences, specialty 010303, physics of the sun, solar physics. Article 11 has all been violated, but this is uh, okay, thank you. I'll make one technical comment. Hope you agree. So the, we don't, we, there's no, no need to comment anything here. The next, uh, let's hear the review by Vladimir Nikolaevich Troyan. Dear members of the uh, Dissertation Council, dear colleagues, I think the thesis by Varvara Andreevni is really very useful from the point of new scientific achievements which she achieved while working on her thesis and most importantly for the first time she created empirical models that do not depend on a priori assumptions. To me, that seems to be very important. And also she created empirical models for local field and for the global field, which is also important. And also what Varvara Nina mentioned, the combination of the new method with the traditional uh, modular method, which uh, yields positive results because uh, can, it's benefits of both methods. Uh, this is, seems to be very, uh, th that will be in demand. From the point of practical significance of the work, I'd like to mention that I'd like to say that this work obviously is one of the best for its for significance for the st for statistical analysis conducted by the author, and in that sense, it has uh, a great potential in the for the future, especially uh, good is the fact that it is possible to use uh, satellite data uh, sufficient to cover the studied area to create such empirical models. And another important point, which uh, not enough, doesn't get enough attention in the thesis, but it, I think that will be very useful, it will come very useful in the future, is the uh, forecast of space weather using the empirical models created in real time, uh, which is very important for uh, modern space flights. So here, the potential for practical use of this work is really great and also indeed the thesis is based on 10 publications uh, though the author only mentions four in reality uh, she wrote 10 articles published 10 articles in the leading journals and 
that is also important. These are, these are highly rated journals based uh, indexed by Weber Science uh, in that sense. It's very important that Varvara Andreevna, uh, during uh, over a fairly short period of time, during th in these three years, managed to uh, pass to go a long way uh, from a, a master's program student, a doctoral student, and uh, now she's a she became a mature researcher of a high class. So that's a very important result. And of course, I support this thesis. I think that Varvara Andreevna uh, deserves to be awarded the degree of candidate of physical and mathematical sciences. And her work corresponds to all the requirements This, uh, which Nadezhda uh, Valerievna uh, mentioned, the order, number, the order of St. Petersburg University and awarding degrees complies with everything, including uh, Article 11, which we already, uh, was already mentioned today. So everything is well. And the, th I think that's the, th that's a brilliant piece of writing. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Vladimir Nikolaevich. Since uh, there are no questions, critical comments, let's proceed to the next review by Alexander Anatolievich. Alexander Anatolievich Solovyov. I have known Varvara Andreevna. Uh, since she presented her master's thesis. And already at that time, I had got a good opinion of her work. Let me use the language of magnetic high, uh, dynamics. It's very important. I was, always was surprised uh, frequently. Uh, current systems used as as a basis and this and the fact that Varvara Andreevna did this was magnetic dynamics she creates a model of magnetic field and then calculates the current systems and uh, everything comes out beautifully and and it's uh, is is a was magnetic field uh i have no serious criticism i think that's a brilliant piece of writing and uh which uh, meets all the applicable requirements and i think that varvara became a mature researcher and I would like to vote for awarding the degree. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Since there are no comments, no critical comments, let's proceed to the next review by Troshev. Uh, Oleg Alexandrovich. Oleg Alexandrovich, the floor is yours. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Can you see and hear me? Yes, yes, we can. Uh, it's good. I shall not read the entire review, which is quite long. I shall focus on the key points only. The thesis suggests a new model of uh, creating of uh, based on uh, satellite measurements. A priori, free from a priori assumptions about geometry. And this, this uh, in in this is novelty of the thesis. Next, I'll skip the list of achievements. 
uh, everything was done very well. And uh, the thesis by uh, Varvara Andreevna is uh, uh, being performed on a high professional level. A new modeling method, radial basis, fun basis functions, ensures max optimal modeling of uh, outer magnetic field on the basis of uh, satellite measurements without any a priori assumptions. As, uh, uh, but respond. A big uh, advantage is the opportunity to create local uh, BF uh, models of high definition for any uh, sphere of magnetosphere it's, uh, satellite data. The degree applicant uh, used a huge amount of empirical data, created methods and uh, software for primary processing of uh, her material. Uh, the prospects of future use of uh, modeling, with the help of radial basis, basis functions. I'd like to see uh, when assessing reaction of the external conditions, the applicant uh, describes magnetic field, uh, dynamic pressure of solar wind, published uh, on Omni website, and uh, so measurements are, as, as, as well as large enough over from magnetosphere. As the results of recent measurements have shown, Vachmiani article. Uh, which I think all of you know, and our article, Troshin Semakov, the parameters of solar wind recorded at Lagrange point do not correspond to the real parameters of solar wind, uh, which affects the magnetic sphere. Metosphere. In our works, we recommend the real indicator, so solar wind index of uh, solar activity. Uh, which indicates uh, solar energy entering magnetosphere and development of uh, magnetosphere phenomenon. We have statistical relations between this index and this T, uh, i.e. indexes, etc. It seems that using the indexes and we obtain it in real time, um, uh, the Time lag is about 1.25 minutes. So, using the index as an indicator of efficient external impact of solar system instead of these components, uh, dynamic of solar wind, etc., can significantly improve modeling of the Earth magnetosphere uh, using radial basis functions. Uh, this uh, remark does not uh, affect the overall high impression. This is more of a suggestion to the applicant. And uh, this is a complete experimental and theoretical uh, uh, basis. Also, I'd like to say that the thesis is uh, written in good Russian, uh, which is, uh, and it really stands out because of that. Of course, there are some uh, lexical and stylistical mistakes, but the language is uh, a language. Uh, it was a reading, it was a pleasure because uh, other works, uh, even and even official documents, the language is really poor. And I believe that Varun Andreina certainly deserves to be what a degree of uh, a candidate of physics and mathematics. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Oleg Alexandrovich, uh, Varvara Andreevna. I think uh, the is uh, but inaccuracy of Omni data and the severity of PCA index. Yes, but these are uh, this is more this seems to be like one question or oh, because one is connected with the other. Yes, we agree that Omni data. Uh, contains some problems and as for including the index in our models, we plan to do that and we shall work. Uh, so we need to run some tests for that. So we want to do that in the in near future. Okay, thank you.
uh, I'm glad to hear that. And uh, so we hope, uh, we really look forward for this to happen. Let's proceed to the next review by Arkady Vladimirovich Smanov. Dear colleagues, can you hear me? Uh, yes, everything is okay. Uh, it's very easy for me because I like this thesis very much. And as was mentioned by the other speakers, in my opinion, I'd like to say, uh, I think this is this, this is very good thesis at uh, the world level thesis. And uh, I'd like to list some key points which I consider relevant. First of all, as I said, it's a high level in uh, no competitive, it has no competition anywhere in the world. So these empirical, uh, the models of empirical type, they are very widely used in all magnetosphere studies. So this is something in high demand, which can be used uh, by many researchers. Thus, uh, the issue of uh, relevance and uh, significance, contrib scientific contribution, is beyond any doubt. Also, I'd like to emphasize that high quality uh, of uh, high quality performance, the work is well written. Uh, I, it's a pleasure to read this thesis it's very clearly as uh, very coherent and very logical and uh, it leaves no doubt for for example which I liked personally is one thing uh, so test, the model is test with the help of artificial generated set of data to me uh, that's a very significant very important test as well as uh, field divergence test uh, this it can show if the model works or not so uh, I'd like to say that I don't think this is a serious problem, it's a minor problem, but for me, in my opinion, the introduction uh, is too brief. would be good to see the uh, literature overview and read more about the development of the models and uh, how Varvara Andreevna arrived to where she is, what she's doing. The empirical models is only one uh, of the methods of modeling the magnetosphere field in recent 10 or 20 years, some decades, it's more, more popular uh, models based on um, uh, magnetic hydrodynamics equations. Uh, so this is a, a completely different method which is applied to the same model. I'm not saying that these uh, models based on uh, bet the models are better than the empirical models, but it would be good uh, to define the role of empirical models, what tasks they can solve, and uh, which can be solved, which uh, cannot be solved by uh, equa hydro uh, magnetic hydrodynamics equations. So, of course, uh, this comment does not uh, affect uh, the high opinion of the, which is a complete scientific uh, study. And I believe that Varvara Andreevna certainly deserves to be awarded the degree of candidate of physics and mathematics. And I uh, encourage the members of the dissertation council to vote for awarding the degree to Varvara Andreeva. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Arkady Vladimirovich. Varvara Andreevna, maybe you'd like to say a few words on the uh, role of physical models and uh, the 
in present uh, science and practice. Arkady Vladimirovich, thank you for your review and for this comment. Uh, in a nutshell, uh, the advantage of empirical models and uh, advantage of our model, I believe that the empirical models are at least at the moment they are complement they complement each other rather than uh, substitute and that this happens because with the help of two models you can uh, solve different tasks uh, the sphere of, of application for empirical models is limited uh, by the data on which they are optimized and at the same time, the empirical models can be used to reproduce the average configuration. And uh, its uh, well-known drawback is that they do not reproduce substorms. With the help of empirical models, it's impossible, for example, to model uh, sub uh, magnetic reconnection and different local. Uh, uh, heterogeneities. At the, at the same time, the empirical models have a number of advantages, uh, but uh, to uh, solve particular specific tasks, they work much faster and uh, they are uh, more available, uh, they are easily available for to the users. It's, uh, it's easier to launch an empirical field model to, rather than wait uh, for uh, the configuration uh, which you order from. So in, in a situation where we have to calculate many different configurations of magnetic field, for example, for tracing uh, the uh, field, <clears throat> field lines, you need is a, a movement of charged particles uh, over long periods of time or for many events. So in these situations, the empirical models have uh, obvious advantages, but in situations when we need uh, to explore one event in detail with plasma parameters, of course, uh, the uh, equation models work better. Uh, so that's, that's it. I, I'm quite satisfied with the answer. Thank you. And finally, it, it's time to present my review. I, since today's speeches were very informal, maybe I'll make my speech a little bit more informal. And, uh, well, touch upon the, upon the formally required points, of course, uh, which were also covered by other opponents and uh, pu published at the university website. But uh, my review, let me present my review to the thesis, uh, the relevance, uh, relevance uh, of the thesis, is obvious because it's a study of uh, physical nature, it's a practical a task of monitoring space weather on the other. So these tasks are called for uh, more accurate empirical models. And unfortunately, uh, the models cannot uh, fully uh, perform this task. So here is so maybe I will repeat something. Speaking of novelty, as a novelty of obtained results, for the first time, the author is a, uh, is a method of decomposition by radial basis functions, uh, which doesn't uh, use a priori assumptions, it demonstrates high accuracy of RBF models uh, in is uh, is uh, is not is it works uh, beautifully shows the possibility of combining the new approach with the previous modular approach 
uh, which uh, is, uh, eliminates uh, shortcomings of each method, but also uh, one approach compensates, make, uh, makes up for problems of the other approach. And uh, was, the most interesting thing is that uh, this combination enables us to develop a study of uh, modular uh, models and the use of RBF models uh, enables us to see uh, what uh, was uh, shown by the modular model. This leads to better uh, un understanding because RBF model is formal, it contains no uh, current systems, it just uh, contains a description. And the local models uh, st uh, uh, on, uh, is uh, densely populated by geostationary orbit, gently populated by satellites, is uh, able to describe known effects and effects which uh, have not been described, such current bifurcation in plasma layer, MMP penetration, diamagnetic depression, were poorly described by the earlier models. Uh, reliability uh, was already mentioned, uh, was obviously because on the one hand, it's a huge, the author used a huge amount of experimental uh, archives of models which she demonstra demonstrated to us today is approximately one million measurements in the data in a database but this is not enough because always as a question of approximation a model is uh, means approximating data so how good is it here every time uh, the uh, author uh, performs a detailed Tests, careful tests, and uh, or big the amount of data is uh, sample uh, to is uh, chosen to test the model. Is uh, modern methods are used, so reliability uh, is beyond uh, any doubt, and the value for science and practice. The results uh, show the efficiency of the approach, accuracy, and in with modular makes modeling more flexible and gives researchers a new tool to study dynamics of large scale current system. So uh, the answers to all these questions in a very brief. So then I shall skip the part which describes uh, uh, by chapter, and we'll just uh, mention some comments that I have. So, there's, uh, there's a number of misprints and unsuccessful expressions, uh, which is fairly common, impossible to avoid completely. So, it's important uh, to understand that the author had to translate from Russian into English to turn into a brief short text. The so translation of a large amount uh, literature from English into Russian is obvious, so I will not dwell more on that. We'll proceed to uh, more uh, critical comments. So obviously the text of the thesis is based on articles, but uh, a thesis is something different, for example. Uh, when someone wants to learn about the new sphere, what's happening, uh, he may read a thesis. So it should. So the thesis should come with all the necessary information. For example, in chapter two, it would be good to see a, a brief summary uh, about the RBF decomposition. Some the more a systematic description like what is uh, what we know about these functions uh, what sphere of application in different fields unfortunately it's absent so uh, of course 
uh, it's possible to do without these details, uh, uh, li just like in, in an article. Uh, the, uh, the use for uh, uh, assess accuracy is uh, PE index is often used, uh, uh, sufficiency index. Uh, unlike a correlation coefficient, uh, takes into account not only the connection, the difference of absolute values. So this index is was used, a prediction efficiency index, was used in chapter four, uh, which was written later. But in previous chapters uh, written earlier, it was not used. And of course, uh, writing, uh, when writing a thesis would be good to calculate, which would make uh, the description of the models even stronger and better. But uh, in general, of course, this, this, this is a very good thesis, complete piece of scientific writing, be formed uh, on a high level. And as a result, the, my uh, uh, opinion is positive. And so the thesis corresponds to the requirements and the degree applicant deserves to be awarded the degree of candidate of physical mathematical sciences, specialty 010303, solar physics, and article 11 of the above mentioned order has not been violated. Thank you. Uh, Barbara Andreevna, uh, let me answer your comments. First, yeah, let me take your say about the PE index and its uh, prediction capacity. We did not calculate it in chapter three, not because it was written earlier, but because the models described in model three, uh, they are not user oriented. Uh, the, the, these were models. Uh, it, we didn't use any parameters except for solar wind. So just counted uh, average configuration. Uh, so, so prediction capacity of the model for this modeling, we will would get very uh, unreliable uh, meaning. Uh, that would be very inferior to any advanced uh, modular model. But our aim uh, was to uh, not to show the method can reproduce the key field sources. That's why we didn't do this. We avoided this. Uh, and as for uh, lack of uh, uh, information, yeah, this is, was my uh, omission. If you don't mind, uh, uh, let me focus on the key po positive points. So the method is for data interpolation, which we did in our thesis. It's also widely used for solving equations. With, uh, specific derivatives is also used in uh, um, uh, neural networks. Is, uh, uh, defines the signal. Uh, so I cannot talk more about this. The advantages of the method is a non-network method. It's meshless, unlike, for example, the other methods, you don't need a link between uh, the, the points. For interpolation of RBF, you don't need to connect uh, the limit conditions for the modeling area. And also, you uh, must say that there's a radial basis functions positively defined functions. The case of uh, strict interpolation is a matrix can be converted, but here we don't have uh, this task of strict interpolation. So these are basically, uh, this what, uh, this what I wanted to say. Uh, thank you uh, for your answer. It is accepted. Uh, let's move on and now, uh, uh, the uh, applicant answered. Uh, 
Uh, now uh, it's time to read out questions sent by external. I don't see any questions and so no one has so let's move on uh let's get and give the floor to the academic advisor nikolai alexievich please switch on the camera uh let me uh add something to the thesis uh varvara explained everything very clearly of course uh, just um, uh, add something to the novelty point, as you have already heard. Uh, the basis of the model is in two elements. A representation of toroidal ploidal parts, ploidal parts, because there's nothing new in this part, uh, since it was known since the middle of the 20th century, uh, geodynamic and solar poles, but the second uh, element is the radial, radial basis functions, which we discussed. Uh, these were introduced quite a long time ago, so decades uh, ago, uh, years ago. So the thesis first describes a successful attempt to unite. And as I know so far, this synthesis has not uh, has uh, never happened. So the, this works, this is a novelty and the ideas are already being used by our Chinese colleagues who suggested to use these models to analyze um, extreme multi-satellite experiments. So they published uh, articles already. So, so we, well, we working on joint grant. And as for uh, the thesis, and now as for the degree applicant herself, uh, June, uh, it has been, it will be eight years since uh, she came to our department. At that time, she was in her second year student, uh, but uh, was she was not scared of this uh, complex uh, theme and uh, which she addressed in her course project and her graduate her, uh, master's diploma and this theme was not is not easy the idea behind and software for modeling uh, created by during uh, many years uh, but it's not very good cover well covered in textbooks uh, and yet Varvara managed, she was very persistent, showed great motivation. And you can see that in the, her quick progress, what she did and uh, her own research. Every year uh, she makes presentations in Russian and international conferences, uh, takes part as, as, a, as a, for the different grants, and is a, a mature uh, a member of our department, an independent researcher. At the moment, she's the author and co-author of uh, 10 articles published uh, uh, in journals indexed by Web of Science, and uh, total number of quotations is 60. I checked that recently, and you know, index is five for a doctoral student. This is very, uh, this is a very good result. Last year in Italy, she uh, got a personal uh, invitation, and in October she presented the results of her work at a conference in Spain dedicated to the results of a, a satellite machine cluster. So I will not. Uh, tell you more, but let me sum it up. Uh, I am very satisfied with Varandrina's work, and uh, I believe that she certainly deserves to be uh, awarded the degree of candidate of physical mathematical sciences. Thank you for your attention. Uh, that's all. Thank you, Nikolai Alexeyevich. Uh, now, uh, we heard all the reviews. 
since we are working in the remote access mode, uh, I have to ask uh, this question. Do the members of the decision council and others present, as well as the degree of the kind of self, have any unanswered questions uh, related to unanswered, uh, related to working in the remote access mode? Do you have any uh, comments regarding the procedure? I have to check that before we proceed to voting. No, everything was, no, we don't have any, any unanswered questions. Oh, very well. Then, uh, uh, we have a, an opportunity to take a break before we, before we vote to, uh, for the council members uh, to discuss something uh, privately. Do we need such a technical, such a break for discussion? Uh, oh. What do you think? I have a feeling we don't have any, any disagreements. We don't have any, uh, so nothing. So if, uh, if we all have the same, the same opinion. So I think we can move on. So we should not take this break. Wonderful. Uh, then, so we kept the sound on. So next, uh, so, uh, general discussion. Uh, the uh, assessment of the thesis. I think, uh, well, the speeches were very informal. The formal part uh, was published at the university website. Uh, it was published in advance. So the uh, reviews were quite informal. If anyone, if someone wants to add something, say, say something, uh, you have a chance to say, or ask questions or say something. Okay, maybe you, uh, you al allow me to say a couple of words. I would also, uh, I also encourage all the members of the dissertation council to vote for this this is the uh, this is quite this is, is quite a rare uh, which contains full uh, range of research a new method is has been presented it has been tested uh, models uh, have good high quality uh, good accuracy so, so from the beginning to the end. Uh, well, the uh, applicant has worked very hard. It's the work of a mature researcher. We saw this list of 10 articles, and these are, so these are these articles published by uh, high ranked journals. Uh, so, wonder, so well known. And so I think that we should we may and we should support. Uh, so I encourage you to vote for this. This is, uh, do you have uh, something to add? Or maybe before something you want to um, say before uh, we start voting? Okay, then, if we have no uh, additional speeches, let me put the question of awarding the academic degree of Candidate of Physical and Mathematical Sciences uh, to Andreeva Varandreevna, uh, Scientific Specialty 010303, Soul of Physics, to the open individual vote. Let me remind you that the decision of the Decision Council should be considered positive if more 
than a half, but not less than three members of the Council present uh, voted for it, according with Article 23 of the order. We have six members of the Recitation Council. Uh, please give your opinion. Council Member Zolta Vanadezhda Valerivna, your opinion? I join the kind words, the uh, good opinion, and I'm certainly for awarding the degree. Uh, so it's for uh, Trajan Vladimir Nikolaevich. I'm definitely for this because this is a very good thesis. I have no doubts. Salavio so Alexander Anatolovich, uh, I have do not have any doubts. This is excellent work, and I've known Varvara for a long time. She certainly deserves a degree. Uh, thank you. Oleg Alexandrovich, Trosheshev. I'm certainly for awarding the degree. I have no objections. Thank you. Arkady Vladimirovich Usmanov. I'm certainly for. Uh, I have no, no doubts. And me, as I said already, let me repeat myself. I'm certainly for awarding the degree. Uh, this is a very good thesis compared to other theses. So this is one of the, of the best uh, works I've ever read. So now I have to count the votes, which is very fairly easy. Uh, dear colleagues and guests, let me announce that out of six members, uh, of council members present, uh, six persons voted for, no one voted against and no one abstained. So the decision to award to uh, Andreeva Rana Andreevna uh, the degree of candidate of physical and mathematical sciences in scientific specialty 010303, solar physics, Dear colleagues, since our meeting was held in the remote access mode, uh, once again, let me ask you, do the council members of the degree applicant or others present have any questions or comments uh, regarding the procedure of our meeting? Uh, Chairman mentally is shaking hand of Varvara Andreevna. Yes, of course, uh, so hopefully, uh, we'll have an opportunity to say a word or two. Uh, now we have to give the floor to the applicant for her closing remarks. And after that, we can greet. We shall greet. Varvara Andreevna, the floor is yours. I hope I will not start crying. Thank you so much. Uh, let me thank all the members of the Dissertation Council for uh, being able to join the meeting. I also would like to thank the uh, for technical support uh, and organization because without your assistance, it would not be possible. And it was, men uh, I heard so many good words about um, the work and its high level. And here I'd like to, I have to say, uh, and the high level, is uh, is the uh, achievement of my academic advisor Nikolai Alexeyevich. Thank you very much. I wanted to say uh, that uh, I have known we have known each other for eight years, and during that period, Nikolai Alexeyevich always found time to answer my questions, provide me with the necessary materials to guide me, and for me that was uh, one of the most important. Uh, talents of an academic advisor and uh, Nikolai Alexeyevich, uh, he, he uh, influenced me a lot as a, as a researcher and as a, as a personality and uh, the good language of the thesis, Russian or English, that's uh, his uh, achievement and his influence, his love for the Russian language. And uh, also, I'd like to thank our department, all the members of our department uh, uh, who uh, were my professors, with whom I went on field trips, because uh, during these years, 
I've always enjoyed support, attention to the students, and uh, uh, it was always a pleasure to come to our laboratories. And I always found on the inspiration and support. So thank you, everybody, for this. Thank you. OK, so it's now it's time to uh, uh, congratulate uh, Varvara Andreevna uh, on uh, successful defense and to wish, let me wish you many interesting works and achievements and happiness in your life. So we congratulate you. Thank you very much. And at that, uh, let me declare the session closed. Uh, thank you for your participation. So please stop the online broadcasting.